Hey, your shoe's untied. Oh man, it is. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I bet you can't do that blindfolded. No, but you know what I can do blindfolded? I can at least put my dive gear together. Well, what's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, as you've seen in the teaser, I got challenged to see if I could tie my shoe blindfolded. And I'll just go ahead and tell you, that was just a teaser. It was just something to grab your attention for what we're actually going to be talking about today. And I'm actually back here in the classroom. You can see we've got a bunch of boards back here. We've got a map of our training area. We've got a lot of different things that our students can learn about, and they can come back here and train. But one of the things that we teach in several of our courses, such as their instructor course, their public safety diving course, their rescue diver course, their solo dive course, any of their technical courses, is we teach blindfold skills. And some skills we actually teach under the water, but most of the skills that are blindfold, we actually teach here in the classroom. And the sole purpose of that is so that that student understands their gear and they can manipulate their gear no matter what situation they find themselves in. They're not having to reach for things and look to see. They can immediately go to wherever they need to get to grab something or to manipulate their gear. And one of the best ways to do that is through blindfold uh, skills. And so let me show you what we put some of our students through depending on the class that they're taking and we'll kind of give you some pointers of how this can help you grow as a diver as well and even be more efficient if you find yourself in a stressful situation. All right guys, so this is actually me putting my gear together. I'm going to be putting my side mount gear together blindfolded, but I want to talk about how important this skill is and the actual value that you get out of this. Uh, like I said earlier, we, we have our rescue students do this. We have our instructor students do it. We have our solo diving students do it, our technical students do it. We even have our public safety and salvage students do this because it's very, very important for you to actually understand your equipment and be very familiar with it. You may just be a simple night diver and need to get something out of a, a leg pouch of your, say your dry suit or something like that, and you're not gonna be able to see very well at night. Or maybe you are a salvage or public safety diver and you need a piece of accessory or something that you need to unclip when you're working in black water and you're not able to see. Or maybe you're in a solo diving situation where you've got an entanglement. Maybe it's clipped off on the back of your tank valve or something if you're say in a back uh, back mount situation and being familiar with your equipment and being able to manipulate that equipment without actually seeing it is is very very important so this is a skill i practice from time to time and of course like i said i have my students go through it but i just take my time here and i make sure that everything is in good working order now i don't know if you really noticed at the beginning there i took my time to make sure that my tank was at the right height and what i mean by that is the lower attachment point on my cylinders here for side mount have to be at a certain height because of my stature and stuff so with that being said i took the time to do that I'm also making sure that I'm identifying each piece of gear. So here, this is my right side cylinder, which means this is my long hose cylinder. And I'm just making sure I've got the right regulator and making sure everything's routed properly. I'm taking my time. And once again, if you practice this skill over and over and over again, eventually putting your gear together will be so second nature to you that you won't ever really second guess yourself. And you'll, you'll do the same thing. You'll be consistent every single time you do it. And simply by doing it blindfolded, it's just gonna kind of drive it home to you and you're gonna get better at it. But uh, here I'm just about to get completed with my uh, right cylinder. And then of course we'll switch over to the left cylinder. But here you can see I'm taking my time, making sure I'm getting my hoses routed just right and not got any kinks in them. I'm making sure that everything is getting stowed away to where I can easily deploy it if I need to, or in this case, deploy it to gear up. But it's all about equipment familiarization. Uh, so that you know your equipment inside and out and it's just so familiar with you and you're just going to be more efficient with with your equipment if you practice skills like this so here i'm getting finished up on my right side cylinder and of course i'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over to my left side cylinder as well and another little uh, thing i like to do here is just practicing these skills slowly 
Uh, you, you've probably hear the old saying that slow is fast. The slower you go, the faster you'll end up being. And it's just because you're you're being more meticulous with your gear. You're being um, you, you're just being more consistent in general. And you're learning the baby steps to it. And then then you'll get better and better and better the slower at it you go. And you notice I'm not rushing in any way, shape, or form. So as you saw there, even on the left cylinder, I got it adjusted to the right height. I made sure that my lower attachment was at the right angle. Uh, if you saw video on side mount diving you know i i turn my lower attachment to a 45 degree angle and that way the bungees of my system pull it around i'll actually link that video up top for any anybody that's interested in how they get their uh, side mount bottles turned and torqued just right but uh that's what i was adjusting there and of course here i'm putting my first stage on i'm going ahead and pressurizing the line so i can get all the kinks out i'm identifying which hose is which of course here that is my uh, low pressure line it goes to my bc inflator of course the other one's going to be for my reg set but i'm just taking my time making sure everything is right and being very meticulous and just trying to be as consistent as I possibly can. Uh, if you notice, the first stages are turned perfectly horizontal. That's how I would normally have done it, you know, if I was able to see while doing this. And it just shows you how familiar with my equipment that I am. And this is something that you can actually practice at home. And I would encourage you to practice this. This is a great skill for you to become more familiar with your equipment and just be more consistent each time you set it up. Now, obviously, once I get done here, I'm gonna take the blindfold off and I'm gonna do a proper pre-dive safety check. And I'm gonna go through each piece of gear that I can just to make sure everything's done right. But like I said, guys, if you practice this over and over, you will be more efficient, more consistent, and just even that much more of a diver, and you'll understand your gear a whole lot better as well. Good. Okay. So there you go, guys. As you can see, blindfolded skills are a great skill to practice. This way, you're going to get very familiar with your gear, and it's something that you can do safely at home. You don't always have to be in a body of water. You can do these skills nonstop throughout the day. You can put on a blindfold. You can just simply close your eyes and see how well you know your gear by trying to put it together and things like that. But guys, I really hope you understand the point of this video is so that you guys can practice things on land to get to know your equipment better and to have better equipment uh, familiarization with the stuff that you wear. But guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, drop me a comment down below, and I'd like to see a good, healthy discussion down in the comment section. But that's going to be it for today, guys. As always, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.